H2K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. So let me let me explain about this opening uh, and what kind of roles and responsibilities uh, you are you are about to play here. Okay. So this project is uh, mostly on uh, manual testing. Okay. However, uh, like however, right, we need to find out that uh, regression test cases for automation testing as well. Okay. So let's let's talk about uh, manual testing as well as uh, automation testing based on uh, our requirement. Okay. Can can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, I have over uh, five years of experience in the field of software testing. Um, I had experience mm -hmm. working mainly in the banking, credit card, prepaid card domain. Um, I have worked also in the healthcare and uh, uh, the telecom uh, uh, domains, uh, but mainly uh, uh, my experience was in the banking and the credit prepaid card. Um, in my in my testing career, um, I have been working on various system platforms and operating systems. And uh, as a tester, I have uh, written test cases, test plans, uh, attended walkthrough meetings with the business analysts, project managers, okay. mm -hmm. and business managers and the QA leads. And also mm -hmm. attended the requirement review meetings and provided feedback. Uh, and uh, I have worked in different databases, and um, and as far as testing, I have uh, performed mock testing, functional testing, backend testing, black box testing, and regression testing, UAT, uh, and I have uh, also uh, tracked the defects. I have written the defects actually in the um, defect tracking tool. Uh, which I used, that was the quality center, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that that was quite uh, much uh, what I did, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's great, uh, great to hear, Nasima. Like you said that you work with like uh, many domains, like such as banking, healthcare, telecom, and financial domain. Yeah. So, which domain testing you feel that different? Can you uh, can you uh, please explain? Yeah, sure. Uh, from all these domains, I think the banking domain was more challenging for me uh, mm -hmm. because uh, in the banking domain, like we had, um, you know, like many uh, interfaces, like we had uh, the credit bureau, we had uh, self-service, and we had, uh, uh, you know, the IVR, the interactive response, um, uh, interactive voice response, and uh, uh, customer service, authorizations and clearing settlements, and so on. So, um, and we had many challenges, like we had so many compliance releases every quarter, and uh, in between we had the Fed regulations coming up. So, it was kind of uh, challenging for all the teams. For everyone. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what are all the responsibilities you played in your uh, current application? Uh, well, I have uh, the responsibilities where I wrote the test cases, and um, uh, basically, um, uh, you know, the backend testing and uh, the the. I had to write the SQL queries for that to retrieve the data from the database, and mm -hmm. uh, I I I was also involved in uh, the in writing the test plans, 
and I had to uh, attend all the walkthrough meetings with the, uh, with all the team members uh, and the higher management. And uh, uh, you know, uh, I had to. Um, uh, and uh, I had to follow the timeline, and uh, once the test, uh, I mean, after the build was given, we had to execute them and then uh, do the regression testing. Um, so that were all my responsibilities. Okay, that's good. Good. So. Can you give me that uh, most challenging situation you had uh, during your testing? Yeah, the challenging situations were, uh, you know, we had, uh, as I told you, we had the quarterly uh, compliance releases. And if uh, the new Fed regulations, uh, you know, they take the higher priority when they come up. So um, we had to keep these aside, all the compliance releases, and we had to work for the Fed regulations. Uh, so, and the we had to, um, you know, test those, and then we had to uh, first uh, do the uh, do that work first. That was the higher priority, and we had to give those uh, releases first. So this took the back end. And once we finished that, then we had to come back. Uh, so the priority like shifted. So once we finished those, then only we could come back to the compliance releases. So the timeline would, you know, come to the end. So we had we had to rush for everything. So that was kind of big challenge for all the testers and the leads and the, for everyone in the team. Okay. So you will have that uh, regular updates on a quarterly basis, right? Yes. Okay. Fine. So in your uh, current application, uh, what are all the modules you work and what are all the modules you tested? Uh, the modules I worked were uh, self-service, customer service, the IVR, which was interactive voice response, the authorizations and clearing, that is set the settlements. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the credit bureau, and uh, these were all the things I worked in, and I had to test uh, all uh, you know the the self service, which was the uh, the GUI uh, uh, interface for the customers. So we tested uh, manually all those, and mm -hmm. uh, the uh, we also had the interactive voice response. So the people who wanted to check their balance and stuff on the over the phone. So for them, we had uh, everything uh, you know, set up for that. So I tested even those, um, all those uh, functionalities. And the mm -hmm. authorizations, which were coming uh, to the credit cards for uh, all the customers, we had to check all the authorizations, whether they were coming correctly. and. Uh, the associations from uh, you know from where they were coming, and uh, the clearing the settlements which were done in the night, they would come up as a file. So okay. we had to match those authorizations with the clearing, whether all the uh, you know they were all correct, and uh, we did not have anything missing. Okay. So so you said that like uh, you said uh, you were also part of a review. Meeting. So, what kind of review and meetings you you had in your uh, organization? Yeah, um, we had the uh, the review meetings where uh, they were mostly to get a clear understanding of the requirements which the um, the client has given us. So, we all have a meeting to uh, you know make sure that we understand all the requirements. The the BA. Uh, and the developers and the testers, we all uh, have a meeting and uh, we discuss and um, get a good understanding of the requirements. Okay. Fine. So, from which phase of SDLC testing should uh, testing uh, team should be involved, like in your current project? Right? Uh -huh. From which point, from which phase of your SDLC your team is involved uh, in the project? Uh, the team should be involved from the beginning, from the beginning mm -hmm. of the project started. 
because it gives us a good time to understand the requirements and to set up the test environment. And also, uh, we will have uh, uh, time to um, you know, um, uh, get the test plan ready. And uh, and the and we can, we could do the requirement analysis if we have any um, doubts in that with the BA and the uh, with the, and the functional specification documents. Uh, we could get a clear understanding of that. So we should be involved from the beginning of the project. Okay. So you mean to say that from beginning means from the requirement phase, right? Yeah, right. From the requirement phase. Okay. Okay. So what are all the deliver uh, deliverables you have in your current application? What kind of deliverables you deliver to the stakeholders? Uh, we have the uh, test plans, the test cases, the RTNs. And uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, the um, the mm -hmm. defects and everything. Okay. Uh, those yeah. okay. So as you said that RTM, what is the benefits of this uh, requirement traceability? Uh, the requirement traceability matrix will be used to track whether all the uh, requirements are covered uh, by writing the test case. When we write the test case, uh, we should make sure that for every requirement, we have a test case. So the requirements, uh, our team is used to match, actually, the test cases. OK, OK. So say, for example, like right, so I gave you 100 test cases for your uh, testing purpose. Mm -hmm. But you don't have sufficient time for testing. But you have to complete the testing. Then what is your strategy? Um, we actually prioritize in that case. We prioritize mm -hmm. the test cases um, and then execute them. OK. OK, you mean to say that you guys will prioritize the test cases and start testing? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. OK. What are all the testings you have you performed on the current application? Um, I did the uh, smoke testing, um, the, fu the functionality testing, and uh, the backend testing, uh, regression testing, um, mm -hmm. and also took part in the UAT. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, have you done any negative testing? Yes. Yes, I did the uh, test negative testing. Okay. So you said that you performed UAT testing. Can you, can you tell me like what kind of uh, responsibilities you played as part of your UAT testing, and who will provide the test data for UAT testing? The test data will be provided by the uh, customer in the okay. UAT testing, and. Uh, we had to be involved uh, in the sense that if we had any issues in the production, uh, then uh, we had to go for the uh, root cause analysis and see what the exact uh, you know defect was, where where the problem is coming from. So um, okay. we go there and see if it is from our side, then we fix it. Okay. Okay. So, what is the difference between alpha and beta testing? As you know that alpha and beta are user acceptance testing. Yes, so, I want both. to know like, so what is the difference between alpha and beta? Uh, the alpha testing is the testing which uh, the, the application which is done in the development, I mean the IT environment, in our environment. And the beta testing is done in the real time environment, that's the production environment. Okay, so now how can you tell that uh, when you are see while writing the test cases, how can you tell that you are done with enough test cases to start with your uh, test cases? And what do you will tell? Um, it is the same again. We match it with the RTM and see whether all the requirements have been met, and then we say that our, all the test cases have been written. Okay. okay, fine. So, which tool you guys are using to track your defect? It's the quality center. Okay. 
can you explain can you explain me that defect life cycle uh the def- when we find a defect that is uh, a new defect it is uh, uh, the status is new and then we open it uh, we uh, uh i mean we forward it to the developer and the developer looks, looks into it and he fixes it and once it is fixed it is uh, set it is uh, the status is fixed and then it comes back to us for testing Uh, we test it again and uh, if it uh, if it is fixed uh, then um, we say it is fixed and if mm-hmm. it is not then it go it goes back to the um, developer for uh, fixing again and uh, if it is fixed we close it if it is not then it goes back to the same cycle okay so can can you can you Throw some light on uh, severity and uh, priority while creating that uh, while logging the defect. We will give you priority and severity. What is yeah. priority and what is severity? Uh, severity is uh, from the applications, uh, from the end user point of view, uh, like how severe, how uh, uh, you know at what uh, severity is the bug, I and mean, how soon we have to fix it, um, how it is going to affect the functionality. and priority is from the uh, application point of view um like how soon it should be fixed okay so say for example like so you are logging one defect but the defect is uh, affecting three test cases so what okay. do you will do um we make both the test cases we uh, we assign uh, the status as fail and give mm-hmm. the same defect as the reference uh, to the uh, developer and uh, yeah okay so what is the difference between regression testing and retesting um yeah uh, retesting is done to verify the defects uh defect success uh, whereas i mean if uh, if the bug is found by the tester and then uh, it goes to the developer he fixes it and then it comes comes back to us and we retest it to see whether it is um, uh, fixed or not and regression is performed to check if the defect fix has not impacted the other functionalities that are working that were working fine before before changing the code that is regression so like what are all the different metrics you guys are using to report like so uh, i wanted to provide my metric as part of the metric what kind of metric you guys are following to showcase your uh, defects um what are all the different metrics yeah Okay, fine. Let let me let me put in this thing. Okay, what are all the different metrics you guys are using to report uh, defect? What kind of metrics you are using? Um, reopen the defects on the build wise, uh, defect okay. priority and severity, uh, okay. root cause analysis of the defect. Mm-hmm. Those uh, okay. are yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you work with uh, affirmation testing as well, right? Uh, yeah. Um. I I mean I have the knowledge of it. I I have done it for a short period, so um. Yeah, I have a good. Uh, I have knowledge about that affirmation testing. Okay. Okay. So how can you rate yourself for uh, uh, in the scale of one to ten in QTP? In QTP, I can say I'm uh, three to four. Okay. Okay. One, uh, as you say, one is good or ten is good. Yeah, it's uh, ten is good. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm three to four. I can say. Okay. So, how many types of recording modes are available in QTP? uh we have uh, 
uh, normal, analog, and low level. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is object repository? Um, the object repository is used to manage the test objects. Okay. Okay. So, have you used uh, regular expression in GDP? Like, yeah. Uh, do you okay. have any knowledge? Do you have any knowledge? Uh, yeah, a little knowledge about it. Yes. So, what is the use of regular expression? Uh, we use the regular expressions in QTP to handle the dynamic objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you have any idea on parameterization? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what is parameterization? Parameterization is testing the same, uh, you know, uh, in place of uh, just using one. Uh, um, uh, you know the. I'm sorry. <laughs> only using. Um, once we can take a different. Uh, um, uh, what to say? Uh, we can take different values for these same uh, thing. Like you know, we can take uh, if there are hundred users, we can take like hundred uh, um, usernames and passwords. We can change them using the parameterization. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mean to say that testing that same functionality with uh, multiple systems? Yeah, with data. different, right, right, with different yeah. okay. data. I'm okay, sorry. fine. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, got it. You used quality center to track your defects, right? I'm so, sorry? You used quality center to track your defects, right? Yes. So, what are the features available in your quality center? And uh, quality center, we had uh, the requirements uh, phase, the um, the test plan module, test lab, defects, and we had the dashboard. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. What is the main purpose of storing these requirements in quality center? It is to uh, track them with the test cases. It is the same thing as we do, uh, even uh, you know, uh, like to see whether all the requirements are met or not. Okay, so you said that you are also comfortable with SQL as well, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Let me let me let me ask a couple of questions here. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to display that current uh, date. Do you yeah. have any function? Do you have any function to display the current date? Uh, the current date? Yes. It is a date. Yeah, I, 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 yes, I want to know the current date. So is there any way to get that uh, current date? Yeah, current date? We, uh, we use get date. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, I want one SQL query, right, to find the uh, name of the employee, right? Okay. Who starts with, uh, say, for example, N? Okay. So, now I need a SQL query to find the name of the employee whose name starts with N. Okay. Can you give me that uh, snippet? Yeah. Um, it is select employee name okay. from... Mm -hmm the table employees where employee name like okay. um, it is in the uh, uh, quotes and okay right. so is there any difference between joints and union uh, yeah um, uh, joints are you can uh, retrieve the data from two or more tables uh, based on the logical relationships between the tables, uh, that is, uh, for that we use the joints, and the union uh, is used to combine the results of the of two or more queries into a single result set that includes all the rows that belong to all queries in the union. That is uh, the purpose of union. Okay. Yeah. 
Thanks, Najima. I'm done with the uh, interview. If you have any query, please let me know. Um, I was just. Uh, I would like to ask, like uh, you said, like, uh, like your the position is for the manual and the automation. Yes. So I'm eager yeah. to. Actually, uh, I'm comfortable yeah. with manual testing, but also I'm a good. Uh, um, I'm very eager to learn a new technology. So. um i can um, you know um i can learn new things and uh, i can uh, fit into any um uh, any kind of job any role yeah yeah nazima as i said earlier uh, this is uh, mainly focused on manual testing okay. and maybe maybe like in the future releases uh, we may automate some regression uh, testing okay but mainly it is focusing on manual testing Okay, and if you have any more questions, please let me know. Uh, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm good. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. It was, thank you. It thank you, Najima. Really, yeah. Thank you. It was really good speaking yeah. to you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. H two K emphasis. provides world class online it training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide h2k infosys how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.